00 crew welcome to obsession outdoors i am gonna catch some bait so when there are holidays or whatever else could possibly happen that makes bait stores shut down bait stores whatever you need a backup plan my backup plan is to keep two minnow traps in the back of my car at all times a little piece of bread or a piece of dog food or piece of styrofoam that you find on your floor that is there for some reason anyway the uh, the, the go-to plan when the bait shops are closed like today on Easter is to catch your own bait so a lot of people have been asking about my bait situation how I get bait where I get bait why I get bait the way that I get bait blah 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 blah, blah. normally I just buy my own bait because it's more convenient you don't got to make two trips uh, you end up a lot of the time spending more gas money running to your bait traps than you would just buying three or four dollars worth of minnows so generally I buy my own minnows but sometimes I bait and I catch my own minnows um, there are some situations some places where you can not like where you don't where it's not necessary to run back and forth to uh, continue checking different traps you can just take one trap drop it in leave it there for 10 minutes and sometimes your trap will fill up if you like drop it right in the school of minnows that are not really spooked or anything I mean I know one spot like that but uh, they're pretty hard to find generally you're gonna have to run back and forth to a couple different spots or at least one spot and then go like put your trap down on one spot go get something to eat wait an hour and then come back something like that so I'm gonna show you right now how I do things so pretty simple stuff here guys I got a piece of bread half piece of bread and an old rusty minnow trap you just you can get these at Walmart or wherever put the two halves together There's little notches here close it like that and then this little mark here you just clip it that holds tight and then you take it down to the stream and throw it in so obviously it's best kind of goes without saying you want to pre-scout these spots make sure there's actually fish where you're going to be putting your trap personally I've been trapping this stream here for years so I know that there are definitely minnows in here so I'm looking for the school now and I see most of them I'm gonna throw this trap in and then come back in about an hour or so to check it. Here we go, right in the deep stretch there. Wrap this rope around this little tree. And now we're good to go. Like I said, come back in about an hour and we should have some minnows in there. Let's go hit one more spot, throw a trap in, and then by the time I set that one, come back and get this one. I can just turn right around and go get the other one because they're about 30 minutes apart. So this is all I'm dealing with here, guys. A tiny little half dried up retention pond. I don't know if you can see all the ripples right there, but that's all minnows stuck in like four inches of water. So that spot is actually going to be a little too shallow because the opening to this trap is about six inches up. But if you look here, there's a deeper spot and a ton of minnows. <laughs> All them ripples are all minnows swimming away. So I'm going to stick this trap right in here where they seem to want to hang. Whew, look at the deer tracks there. Too bad you can't hunt this spot. Sheesh. Heavy deer trail. Anyway, back to business. Drop this bad boy right in there. Perfect. Come back after we go pick up the other trap. And uh, yeah, we should have a ton of minnows. Unfortunately, I have had a lot of traps stolen over the years. So now I try to conceal as much as possible. So if you notice, I'm not leaving a whole bunch of extra rope. Like if you put it in the water like that, it stands out. If I make it just one solid line, not a loop, kind of conceal the trap. I use those old rusty traps on purpose so you can't see them as easy. Uh, between that and making your rope concealed, line it up with a stick, tuck it under some grass keep it in the shade whatever bury it with some leaves anything to keep it from standing out 
I mean, if somebody's going to walk around and look, they're going to find it anyway. But this will at least keep people from seeing it from farther away and coming over to it. So just decreases your chances of getting it stolen. Also, depending on your laws in your state, Maryland for some reason, doesn't allow you to keep traps overnight. But if you do, good idea is always to tie it to a branch or a tree, something like that. Again, low so people can't see it. Uh, that way if it does rain or anything your trap doesn't get swept away because I've had that happen too <laughs> just some little tips and tricks there all right guys looks like we got some mama chows perfect oh, got a whole bunch of them sheesh all right cool we got bait loaded absolutely loaded sheesh all right some small ones some big ones i'll have to sort them out just use the small ones giant one right there what the heck that oh that's like a creek chub yeah. that is a creek chub there you go now you can see what the creek chub is <laughs> oh, it's a little one all right let's go fish <laughs> <laughs> 